Okay, as you can see from the uh, previous video, we did the uh, y-axis and the z-axis, and uh, now we're doing the um, the x-axis. Um, in this particular case, it is the next diff most difficult uh, axis to do, as I had to remove the head and the vertical column to get in there behind to uh, drill and tap the holes for the scale and also drill and tap the holes uh, for the sensor bracket. So we'll take a look at that here in a moment. But uh, as you can see, I have the dial indicator mounted. And uh, just let's move it a little bit here. You can see that uh, we are holding um, pretty close to within one, one thousandths of an inch all the way across. Um, again, I'll uh, take the, move the camera around to the back side and let you take a look at uh, what I had to do to uh, mount the uh, the scale to the table. Here we are looking at the table from behind the mill in the same location that the head and column would be located. Um, as you can see, I have the screws uh, M M6 by 30 uh, drilled into the top of the table to mount the scale to. Uh, again, you went want to. Uh, in pre-mounting the scale, you want to make sure the sensor can travel the full width uh, of the table because you're going to you're going to mount that sensor in a permanent position uh, just above the uh, y-axis gibbs. So you want to make sure that uh, you again you can get full travel. Um, and as you can see, I have the dial indicator. I'll move the camera up here a little bit. I have the dial indicator on. I'm going to go a full width to make sure that that scale is mounted uh, parallel to the table. We have the x-axis mounted. Notice the rubber uh, uh, boot that is protecting the, uh, the gibbs and the dovetail. On the, uh, the front one there, I removed the little bar and just put the the uh, the bolts back in with washers underneath there uh, to give that uh, sensor uh, room to uh, sit in there. There isn't much room. So there's the x-axis uh, mounted. And uh, in the meantime, I'll show you what else I have done. I've mounted the uh, the display bracket to the uh, vertical column and uh, gathered up all of the cabling and uh, zip tied that to the arm of the uh, the mount to the to the display the cabling running up, up and plugging into the rear rear of the display uh, now let's walk around to the front and I'll show you the actual display okay around the front of the mill now you see I have the display on uh, let's go through and uh, move the z-axis and you notice uh, that the display is showing the motion of the z-axis we can turn the uh, the y-axis and the x-axis and I have looks like I have the z-axis and the y-axis backwards on the cabling so I'll have to fix that uh, but there's the uh, there's the working DRO with the uh, little machine shop high torque mini mill. Um, of course, going to have to uh, retram the mill as I took the uh, vertical column off. But that's pretty much the install. If you check my website, I'll have it in the note and uh, the description portion. Uh, there's a lot more photos and a lot, to, and I'm going to document a lot of the procedures that I did to uh, install the DRO. So uh, I hope you enjoy the videos, and thanks a lot.